Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is How to Learn to Code in Unity and welcome to episode 8. So this episode we are going to have a look at using something called player prefs. Now player prefs are a way of saving values quickly and easily in a game. Now this scene I have set up here just has two boxes and a button. So what we're going to be doing is in this first one we'll be incrementing a number constantly and then this one will be one that we can load a player pref. So when we press this button, we'll be able to save it here and load that again, nice and easily. So player prefs are a way of perhaps making save points in a game. So we're gonna start with C sharp and then convert it into JavaScript. So let's right click, create C sharp script, and let's call this something nice and simple, saving pref. Let's open it up in Mono Develop or Visual Studio, whichever one we use. So because we're using some UI elements in this, first thing we're going to need to do is at the top, we just need to put in using unity engine.ui semicolon. So we're going to have start and void being used and we're going to also make our own function a little later on in this section. So firstly we need to declare some variables and we know how to do it in C sharp. We do public int and this first one is going to be this number which reflects that first text box in the scene second is public int and it's going to be on load number so this is the number that will load into the scene when we press play next is going to be a game object so public game object and let's call it number display semicolon and the last one is going to be public game object. Let's call it loaded number semicolon. So in the start section, what we're going to want to do is load into the text box, which is called loaded number, whatever is in a player pref. So on load number equals player prefs dot get int and in brackets and quotes we name our player pref so you can literally have anything in here as long as you remember what it's called so in this case let's just have it as our save in quote close bracket semicolon so when we start up this script all it's doing is presenting this second text box with whatever number is in the player pref named our save and then loaded number dot get component and in spiky brackets text open close bracket dot text equals the double quote so we've done that previously it's just because it has to be valid as a text plus on load number so as i say that's just putting whatever number is in the player pref into that text box so what we'll do here is we'll quickly get rid of that note because we don't actually need it in the void update what we'll do is we'll make this number plus one every time a frame is called so this number plus equals one semicolon and we'll then display that in the first text box of the scene so number display dot get component open spiky bracket text close spiky bracket open close bracket dot text equals double quote plus this number semicolon and that's the void update done so the final thing we need to do is because we have a button we have to set an extra little uh, function here to say that we're going to save the number and we're going to do public void let's call it save number open close bracket open curly bracket and all we need to do is set the actual player pref itself, which we have called our save previously. So player prefs dot set 
int, so we're setting it, not getting it, and in brackets and quote, same as what we put above, our save, comma, this number, close bracket, semicolon, and then close curly bracket to close that up and save that script. So all this little bit here is doing is saying inside the player pref named our save, we're setting the integer whatever this number currently is. So if we head back to Unity, and if we quickly create a new game object, an empty one, let's just call it prefs, drag and drop that script onto there and just set the two variables there. So number display is this number and loaded number is loaded pref. And then we just need to set the button so it actually works when we press it. So if we go to the button there, click on plus and move the prefs object over to here. Click no function, go to saving pref, and then we called it, uh, what did we call it? We save number, wasn't it? Which is right there in the list. So save number. And if we press play, we'll see that this number is counting. So if we click on save player pref, it'll save it. So press play again, and there we go. So that was the number we saved on. So if we press, uh, let's wait till it gets to 400 and something and press it again. So it should load as about 450 something, 464. So if we do it a low number there, so you can see that every time we press that, it saves that number to memory each and every time. So no matter how many times you press play now, how many times you load it up, close it down, load it up, it'll still remember that number as 115. So that is the C sharp version. And luckily with this, the JavaScript version, if you want, perhaps want to do that, is pretty much the same, apart from how we declare our variables, as you already know. <clears throat> so right click, create JavaScript, and I'm gonna call this um, Java pref. So the reason I always do this with the coding series, how to convert between two languages, is I like to see what differences there are between each lines of code, because it's handy knowing both languages. Even though both languages are very similar, it is handy knowing both. So let's state our four variables again. So it's var, this number, colon, int, semicolon, and then var, and then what do we call the second one? Let's go for save pref. It was called onload number. That's it. So on lo uh, load number. There we go. That's also an integer. Uh, next one was the number display, which is a game object. Next one, and last one, I should say, is called loaded number. And that was also a game object, semicolon. So the function start, all we would need to do here is set our player pref. So on load number equals player pref stop get int in brackets and quote now i'm going to call it the exact same at this point our save i'll explain how this is useful in just a moment and it's also worth noting that line of code is the exact same in javascript and c sharp the next line of code isn't quite the same so it's loaded number dot get component dot and then in spiky brackets text open close bracket dot text equals double quote plus on load number semicolon and that's the only two lines we had in the function start so in function update we need to have pretty much the same thing so it's this number plus equals one semicolon and then it's this, pretty much the same sort of thing we've got here with the get component so it's number display dot get component dot and then spiky brackets text uh, open close bracket dot text equals double quote plus this number semicolon and then Finally, we do that extra little function. So it's function 
and it's called save number open close bracket open curly bracket and we set the integer in our player pref and the line is exactly the same so player prefs dot get int and in brackets and quotes are save comma this number close it with a quote semicolon close curly bracket and save that script so we've converted our c sharp version into java so back to unity and let's go on our prefs object and remove that script and check on the button that that script is now missing so we have no c sharp script in this area whatsoever and if we drag our java script onto prefs quickly set our variables and set the button up so back to the button drag over prefs click on no function java pref and it was called save number now you'll notice something as we press play here it's that 115 that we actually put in the c sharp script so the clever thing that we've done here is this is a way to transfer numbers from javascript to c sharp and back again if you need to so if we click save player pref it'll appear at, it's not set it properly there has it that should be set int not get int i made that mistake in the practice of this i've done it there but yeah it's set in for that one so if we do this again let's allow this number to get a little bit higher so we can tell the difference so it's going to be 400 and something we save player pref and we can see it's 480. so if we were to take off this javascript version right here and replace it once again with the c sharp version this number would still appear so this player pref is something which is held within unity itself it is not script specific if we were to change this to say something like r save 2 then it would be different because it would have to say r save 2 in both c sharp and javascript but as long as this player pref is named the same in both scripts you can transfer numbers between two different script types so that is a great way of integrating javascript and c sharp which we will cover in the next episode so guys until then thank you very much for watching